In this lesson, I'd like to take a look at volume-based collisions. And specifically, how can we take a smoke simulation and collide that against the glass walls of our bulb? So within this scene, I have a few different networks set up. I have this collision geometry network, our emitter, which is just our coils that emit smoke, and then our pyro simulation, which is right over here, and that's what holds all of our main simulation nodes. Starting with this collision geometry, I've gone ahead and isolated everything down to just this top bulb portion to collide against. And normally whenever you have these sort of concave sort of shapes, in other words, shapes that kind of dip in like this, the way that you would go about this is by creating a set of pre-fractured pieces that then get collided against. So in other words, we would go here and we would scatter a bunch of points, use a Veroni fracture, and be left with all these pieces, which then become individual objects that are collided against. If I was to set this up in our DOF simulation, here's what it would look like. I'd create a static object, I go up here, feed this into the SOT path, go down to the collisions tab, go to bullet data, and say create convex hole for the set of connected pieces, like so. If I show our guide geometry and turn off of our display geometry and then set this into our merge, this is what we get. Now there's one more step to this as well. We then would have to go down here and say, do not shrink the collision geometry and we'd be left with something like this. So normally for this kind of scenario, this is how you would go about doing this. But in our case, the smoke is not going to respect all of these individual convex holes. And we can see that happening right here. So a much better way of going about this is by using volume-based collisions. And it's very simple. All you need to do is throw down a VDB from polygons. In this case, I've set it to a distance VDB. And actually, everything in here is at the default values. So that'll calculate really quickly. And then inside of our PyroSim node, I make a static object. Within the static object, I go down to Collisions, RBD Solver, and I go to the Volume tab. Now with this, I want to say that the collision detection ought to be a volume-based collision by saying Use Volume Collisions. And then within this tab, I can go ahead and feed in the stuff that I prepared in SOPS. So I say Use a Volume Sample by Size. The Division Size is set to whatever I've set here on this node. I've gone ahead and inverted this sign so that it collides against the walls much better. And then I've also gone ahead and added in this proxy volume to the path of our SOP network. And now, as you can see, our smoke is properly colliding against the walls of our light bulb. As always, you can find a link to my other courses within this video's description. And thanks for watching.